Hey everybody, Jem Schofield of the C47 and another episode of Gearbox 2.0. Today we are in the barn. It is raining, it is windy, and thankfully we're not doing stand-ups. We are shooting tabletop and I'm gonna give you a little bit of the behind the scenes all about that. So let's get started. This is actually a pretty simple setup and it's for a four part series that we are shooting on a family of products, which will get released, I think probably in January. And uh, it is not the Fujifilm X-T3. So what I wanna do is kinda of show you what the setup here is that we've been using for some tabletop stuff and the thought process behind it. It's relatively simple and away we go. So over on my left up here is our key source, and that is an Airy Sky Panel. It's the 30C, and we are using the rabbit ears along with the DOP Choice softbox, which I absolutely love. It's a three by four softbox. And this is our main key. It's actually the main key that I use when I'm shooting in this space all of the time. Now, what is happening for all of these things is we have this little turntable here, which um, <laughs> we lovingly have used actually a piece of vinyl for part of it, and we've deconstructed it with this little top. And as it's turning, when it's getting to a certain part of this with the screens, we're seeing the reflection of the key light even though it's a side key. So we have a little road rags here, an 18 by 24 with the duve on it. And some, we basically put some gaff tape on the bottom because we were catching those reflections as part of that as well. And that's basically our key light coming in from over on this side. And what we're trying to do is minimize the amount of shadows. So we don't want to have a lot of other lights coming down on the table. I mean, we could, but what we have done is put this little strip here and you can see as I rotate it and take a look at the product and we're using silver here. So we're just basically catching that key and we are bringing that back with silver and we're getting a little something something there on the product. In fact, if Ken goes over to the monitor and takes a look at that, we can see how that looks. There it is off, and there it is on. Are you seeing that, Ken? Oh yeah. There you go. Okay, cool. So that's basically the setup here. We also 86 the turntable, and we've done a bunch of stuff here on the tabletop. And then behind me, what we have basically is an Apple box, with this sucker right here, which is the Luxley Cello, which is color tunable. And there's a, a series of these products in the family and we're using different colored backgrounds for each of those groupings. So we've got this blue here, uh, usually reads a little purplish on camera because it's what it is. And then here's another one of the colors that we're using. Um, and then we just basically swap it out based on intensity and color and all of that stuff. And then you can't see it, but just trust me over here is a Felix P360 and that's creating a little bit of that white wash. By the way, we are shooting everything at 6500 Kelvin because that's the white point of displays and we want to match that color temperature. So. It were, are you at 6,500 Kelvin? Oh, Kenny boy. Hmm? These are the things. Wait, I thought we had that camera set to 65. Let me check. It is. Uh, we're we're okay. We're good. Because we set it up. This is actually yeah. our B camera that we're using for uh, the episode. All right, so now let's move out of here. You kind of get the idea of what's going on, you know, in the sound blankets and crap like that. So we needed to create a little bit of a... Uh, we'll say still life. So it's gonna be pretty dark here, but I'm gonna pull this, a little bit of this bounce over here. So what we have is a little, almost like a V-flat, a mini V-flat, but with silver for this Felix P360. And that's basically bouncing off of this silver and it's coming in onto this little still life. We have another one with a little edge over here, which is hitting it from the back. So you can kind of get a sense of what this looks like. We've got just a little black backdrop behind it 
and then some cool little instruments and some old cameras, which is a beautiful thing. Got that little X-Rite passport, uh, color checker video. And now let's go ahead and Ken's gonna go ahead and take a look at the monitor over there. That's my new brand spanking new small HD, which I'm very excited about. So I'm gonna actually turn these off so you can see what these lights are actually doing. So let's just go ahead and turn on that backlight. That's beautiful as it is. And then we're gonna go in, I'm gonna step in in front of camera and we're gonna turn that on and you can see how beautiful the whole thing comes together. I like that harder light for this still life done by my wife, Jessica, who is very, very good at that kind of stuff. And we're just shooting it with um, a 200 mil. Let me actually stay on that picture over there, Ken. Let's take a look at this Canon 200 that was just sent to me by my dad. It's Bocalicious, as you can see. So it's a beautiful thing. Tack sharp, there we go. Good, I'm stepping back in. It stopped raining, which means that we can set up for stand-ups. Smash the subscribe button, ring the bell, whatever that stuff is. I'm an old guy now, I don't know how that all works. Just subscribe to the channel so we can keep creating free content for you guys here at the C47. And I'll see you guys next time on Gearbox. Cut!